horse yeah. coming around. So what's the breed? This is a Frisian quarter horse. How amazing. Frisian quarter horse right here. So it's amazing. And then the, what would you like to keep with this? What is your goal for this person? You know, I, I think I'd like to just kind of deepen my connection with them, deepen the, the kind of the mutual respect a little bit. He's, um, he's Mr. Personality. He's very safe, very reliable, very predictable. But especially with, with other folks and with the young kids that we have here, if he feels like he can pull something, he'll try. And so whether that's kind of being in your space when you don't want him in your space, or you know maybe kind of stepping over you, um, pushing into you, um, trying to get food when when it's not time to eat, okay. you're just really getting the focus. Okay, yeah. great, amazing. I'll start working. And uh, yeah. you have an amazing place. Oh, thank you. I love this arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Great. So, your name is Patron? Patron. Hi, Judy. Want to go for that? So much trust. So sweet. You can have this spot, or you can join me. He has a lot of trust, and he did join me, but he didn't follow me. So I sent him away. And this, all horses understand immediately. This is how they do out in the herd. If the horse doesn't follow, then they're sent out, and he's out. And what he's showing while he's out is that his head is up high, so he's communicating that he is a strong horse. He's not afraid, even though his friend is up there. He's okay being alone in that corner, in that place. And uh, he's saying that if a lion shows up, he will take care of it. He's not in need of a person because he's a sweet horse. He can handle things himself. So in a natural hierarchy, this horse is a strong horse. And that's what he's communicating, and that's good. Because the strong horses, they're the safest horses when you get them to work with you. Because they have an intelligence to realize what is a real danger and what is not. He will not be afraid of the children going down the roller coaster in there. He will not be afraid of a water horse lying in the ground. He will know that's not a real danger. He will be afraid when the lion shows up, right? Because he's intelligent. So what I'm looking for is for him to show some submissive signals. Set his ears back, lower his head, lick and chill. But right now, he just has his head up high. <laughs> He's saying, I don't need you, lady. <laughs> he says that to me too. Yeah. <laughs> I like you. You can scratch my butt. You can bring me a treat. But I don't need you. I can go all the way over here. He doesn't 
He turned his hind to me. He's showing a close body language right now. He's saying, I don't need you. And he is in that corner, isolated. He has a far distance to the other horse. He's so strong that he doesn't even care. It's not lack of trust. He has lots of trust. And uh, he knows that people will love him no matter what he does. So he's in a really good place. He's safe here. He has a great home. He's feeling really, so really safe and confident, but he's also a naturally strong horse. So he's saying, well, if you are gonna ask me to be submissive and you are gonna be the one in charge, then I will choose to stand here with a close body language, have my hind towards you and not care about you. But now he turns around, look. So right now I would just motivate him, give him a lot of love, for him to choose to be in the herd with me. Yeah. And that's a good thing. This process is amazing because we are fighting the hierarchy while he's standing still. He is thinking so hard because people don't usually go in here and call calls like this. And he wants to be with people and he has all this great, great trust. So he will choose to be with us, but right now he's just saying no because he's so strong. So, yeah, so strong. And the fact that he's saying no now is going to be the fact that that's, um, well, we need to change in order for the round to be any good. 